It's a relative newcomer to our diets and has become an essential ingredient from pizzas to plowmans. For 10,000 years we've been scoffing dairy products. Cheese comes in a myriad of forms, but just how is it made on an industrial scale? Like all cheeses, mozzarella starts from milk. For hygiene reasons, the interior and exterior of tankers transporting milk are washed after being emptied. A tanker such as this one can carry an average of 30,000 litres of raw milk, keeping it at a constant 3 to 4 degrees centigrade. They store the milk and whey, a milk byproduct, in these immense silos, each with a capacity of 225,000 litres. This milk separator then extracts surplus cream to adjust the percentage of fat according to the type of cheese to be made. The process starts with this tank, which feeds the pasteurizer. Pasteurization kills certain harmful bacteria through heat. Milk samples are drawn off to precisely determine their milk fat and protein content. Tests are carried out in this mobile laboratory, where strict controls are imposed. These test tubes contain milk samples which will undergo microbiological analysis. This is a curdler with a 25,000 litre capacity into which milk and other essential ingredients for making mozzarella are introduced, such as the enzyme rennet that curdles the milk. This mix must be well stirred and cooked for 30 minutes. The agitators are used to cut the whey into little lumps. The temperature of the tanks depends on the type of cheese they're making. Once cooking is done, the whey is pumped onto tables to be drained. The solid and the liquid are now well separated. The liquid draining away is called lactoserum. The lactoserum will be concentrated and transformed into other milk-based products. The liquid has been almost entirely extracted and the cheese particles are now sufficiently dry for the next stage to begin. This large automated blade then moves cheese particles towards the next step, which is the molder. In the molder, the cheese is cut up before being carried to the cooker, the final processing step. The mixture finally resembles the mozzarella we all know and love. cheese finally arrives at the molder, which will give it the proper shape. Each mold has a two and a half kilo capacity. Brine, a salt solution, serves to cool as well as to salt the cheese blocks. The blocks are emptied from their molds and fall into a brine tank. They are then carried by a conveyor towards another tank where they will be immersed for 4 to 10 hours at a temperature of 2 degrees centigrade. Sprays of brine remove the foam which forms at the surface of the tank. The 30,000 litres of milk that came in by truck at the beginning has transformed to produce 1,400 blocks of cheese in only 8 to 12 hours. The cheese blocks are finally vacuum packed and ready for shipment.